I got to listen to Arthur's story a minute ago. And Arthur wasn't telling you the whole thing about how him and Harry hatched the plan to build the Cooper River Bridge. See, because he, he was talking like they were all clear-headed and, and, and straightforward thinking that went into that. But when Arthur originally told me the story, it, it surrounded, it was surrounded by a court of rebel yell. <laughs> and it was as the bottle became empty, Harry said, you know, Arthur, I think I figured this thing out. <laughs> so if you really get down to it, rebel yell. Every time you drive across the Cup River Bridge, I think of Arthur Rabnell, I think of Harry Holman sitting on the back of a truck sipping on some rebel yell. <laughs> but Harry's heart was in transportation. He knew the bridge needed to be replaced. And, and he thought Arthur was going back, getting it done with a plan. But Harry also knew the town of Mount Pleasant was growing faster than anyone had ever imagined it could grow. And he understood that there would be problems in transportation, that there would be bottlenecks, that traffic would back up. And, and that man has been able to do more for the town to relieve the traffic congestion. All the highway projects that you see, all the improvements that you've made, they would not have happened if it weren't for Harry Coleman and his forward thinking. It, it, it's, no, it's not good enough for Harry. I promise you, it is not. We need this road. We need to make it happen. But Harry, there's no money. Well, let's go find a way. And being able to work with the delegation, with the, um, with the DOT, being able to work with Congressman Henry Brown, was able to find the funding and be able to get all these projects done and all the projects that are currently underway. And also talk the town into chipping in a little bit of money to make these things happen. Because they would not have happened, they would not be on the drawing board, they would not have been completed if it weren't for Harry Holman. A, a life well served um, is the certain dedication to others. And Mayor Holman has been one dedicated individual to his community. And I'm, I'm I count myself fortunate to have been one of the guys that got to know Harry a little bit. Um, you're a great man, Harry. Thank you for your service.